All right, Shalom. First, let's start by saying all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash, the honor to the elders and apostles that were well, and salutation to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Now, this is a um a lesson on this lady named Helen Thomas, and you know she just made some remarks about the Israelis. So I'm just play it, and then I'm gonna read a little bit into her and bring out some scriptures. <clears throat> Remember, these people are occupied, and it's their land, it's not German, it's not Poland. So where should they go? Where should they go? They go home. Where's the home? Poland. So the Jews, Germany. You think Jews go back to Poland and Germany? And, and America and everywhere else. Right, so, um, you know, this is just a case of uh, the Lord saying uh, their tongues should fall upon themselves. But um, I'm going to bring out this scripture first before I bring that one out. This is Zechariah chapter 9. Verse 6, it says, And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Right, the bastards talking about Esau dwelling in our land. Our land is the land of Israel, man, which is uh, Ashdod, man. And all this is coming out because we uh, are at the end, man. So she was telling the truth. Eventually they uh killed her. But uh she was telling the truth. Psalms 85 and 11. This is Psalms chapter 85, verse 11. It says, Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Right? And this is the truth. You know, the Spirit of the Lord is uh, uh, bringing this information out so his elect men can get it, you know, and get sealed before the coming destruction. And then, so also, the people got to know this information also. The people got to know the truth also. You know? Uh... This is chap this is Psalms chapter sixty four, verse eight. It says so So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. And what that means is what you see here. Um them uh uh telling on each other. Or telling, uh, uh, yeah, them telling on each other. Esau represents a nation. And when they bring out truth on their people being the devil or, or lying about who they are, according to the Bible, that's them bringing, uh, that's uh, them making the tongue fall upon themselves, man. Especially since her and her position, she's supposed to be, up, up at the, she's she was at, up at the top in uh, that field. Not all at the top, but she was in that, in that realm. You know, so she got to hear the truth and you don't know the truth and everything, you know. But it says, uh, Psalm chapter 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves and all that see them shall flee away. All right. So this is uh, the Wikipedia document. 
It says uh, Helen Thomas. That's, that was her name. Helen Amelia Thomas, August 4th, 1920 to July 20th, 2013, was an American reporter and author, best known for a long time membership in the White House Press Corps. I didn't even get to look at this yet. The White House Press Corps is the group of journalists, correspondents, or members of the media usually stationed at the White House in Washington, D.C. to cover the President of the United States. White House events and news briefings. Their offices are located in the West Wing. Right, so you can't just be up there with them in that realm because the spirits that dwell around there and everything, man. So she more than likely had, you know, she probably won the witch, but, you know, she dealt with them spirits and all them vibrations. But, you know, it says uh, she covered the White House during the administrations of 10 U.S. presidents from the start of of the Kennedy administration to the second year of the Obama administration. It says Thomas worked for the United States, uh, for the United Press and Post, 1958 successor United Press International, UPI, for 57 years. First as a correspondent and later as, as White House bureau manager. She then served as a columnist for Hearst Newspapers from 2000 to, 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 to 2010, writing on national affairs and the White House. Thomas was the first female officer of the National Press Club, the first female member and president of the White House Correspondents Association, and the first female member of the Gry Duran Club. Right, so, you know. When they up in them uh, realms and everything, everything is being uh, told to them what to write, what they can't write, you know. And then they got to be a part of an order also, you know, which means, you know, she's very much well was a witch, more than likely. But, um, because they deal with a lot of demons and a lot of spirits, you know, uh, up in the White House, man. You know, you can't just be around them and be no ordinary person unless you are uh, uh, trying to get uh, um, involved. Um... Yeah, you know, you can't be no ordinary person because, you know, around them people, there's sex slaves, a lot of lesbianism, a lot of homosexuality. And them uh, elite, them uh, presidents and all uh, 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 those up in that realm deal with them demons because them demons got to let their ass know what's going on and what to do, on, you know, on top of the elites. So, but it says, uh, she then served as a columnist for... For Hearst newspaper from 2000 to 2010, writing on national affairs and the White House, Thomas was the first female officer of the National Press Club, the first female member and president of the White House Correspondents Association. Right, so she was up there, and and the first female member of the Gry Duran Club. She wrote six books. Satan. Her last with co-author Craig Crawford was list listing. Was listen up, Slocky. Mr. President, everything you always wanted your president to know and do 2009. Thomas retired from Hearst newspaper on June 7, 2010, following controversial comments she made about Jews, Israel, and Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and her claims that Congress, the White House, Hollywood, and Wall Street are owned by Zionists. See, she wasn't supposed to say none of that. That led to numerous allegations of anti-Semitism. She then served as an opinion columnist for the Falls Church News Press until February 2012. And then she died. It says Thomas died on July 20, 2013 at her home in Washington, D.C. At the age of 92, many female journalists Memorialized Thomas on Twitter, including Judy Ru Woodruff, who called her a trailblazer, and Lynn Sweet, who said she was a glass ceiling breaking journalist. Andrea Mitchell tweeted that Thomas made it possible for all of us who followed. Dana Perino, or Dana, or Dana Perino, who served as press secretary to President. 
George W. Bush remembered that on her first day as press secretary, Thomas approached her to give her words of encouragement. President Obama released a statement calling her a true pioneer who never failed to keep presidents, myself included, on their toes. And she, she damn near she did. So when she exposed all that shit about y'all, them Zionists, so they had to uh, get her ass. You don't, you don't get to survive when you uh, expose these Jews who speak on them. Thomas was cremated and her ashes were buried in Detroit following a traditional Antiochian Orthodox funeral service. Yeah, so more likely they killed her ass. You know. But um yeah, that's that's it. This is the lady. Show you a picture again. Yeah, you can't be on them levels because this is a level of secrecy that you have to have. Or if you know if you violate, they kill you. So but with all, with all that being said, I'll praise to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, by Shemel Kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles that we will, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.